everyone, welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. I hope you watched yesterday because yesterday's tutorial is really important to what we are doing today. Uh, and that is going to be making our player move more smoothly. Right now he's kind of choppy. Actually, he's not just kind of choppy. He's really choppy. Alright. He's as choppy as some expert at Fruit Ninjas. So, let's go to player script here. And you guys see... He's just moving when the keys are pressed. He's not actually moving as long as the keys are pressed. That's the big problem. So we've we could keep these changes. They're they're fine here. Uh, but we're actually going to comment these out with a comment that I don't know if I've shown you guys yet. But it's a multi-line comment. You start it with two uh, hyphens and then two opening square brackets and then close it with two right or er, closing square brackets and then two more hyphens and that is a multi-line comment so you don't have to do this every line okay so <clears throat> sorry gotta clear my throat a little bit apparently all right so we're actually going to make a while true do loop and we're going to just wait at the beginning of it at our end and then if player dot a dot value then move left and if player dot d dot value then move right and um, adds another zero to these so it moves less now what is this doing well what this is doing is it's moving the player okay it's moving the player as long as the keys are pressed because in a while true do loop it's going to run forever unless you explicitly say inside the loop to break unless you do that it's going to keep going forever okay now in what we're doing is we're just checking every time it goes through the loop okay is the players a keep being pressed down right now or is their D key being pressed down right now if so then move them corresponding to what buttons they're pressing. Now, if you're pressing both buttons, yes, it's true. You will not move, but that's okay. It, that You're just pressing both buttons. You probably are just trying to glitch our game, and we don't really care if you don't move because that's your own problem. Now, the player that a that a, this is just to explain here, guys, again, while true do loops run infinitely infinitely always going through the loop and then back to the beginning and through the loop and back to the beginning unless of course like I said you tell it explicitly to break and that would stop the loop using the break command so the player that a that value if if a is being pressed then move left if D is being pressed then move right and this way we aren't just waiting for them to press a key this way we're actually just being like oh okay uh, they are pressing this let's move because if they actually have to press the key every time they move it's going to feel very very broken like really annoying movement and if you're making the game you want it to be fun for the other players so now we can test and just see uh, how it feels with the new uh, movement I guess would be the word for it it's a little slow to load there but hey now he I'm not pressing D a lot I'm holding it I've been holding it the whole time I have not repressed it and he is moving along he's moving uh, fairly slowly yes but hey, that's okay right now let's move him back all right all right now there's one more thing we need to do today and that is change it to point oh two now I want to note one thing for everybody there's one thing we sort of messed up on as we made this but we didn't actually mess up because of how we're making the game we're making it to just take up the whole screen however if we were making the game to be a side scroller or any kind of scroller or something where the entire screen couldn't show the entire level at once uh, you would have to actually scale your level down to be just the pixels uh, instead of being this size thing uh, the uh, 
scale, you would have you could have a completely a complete sized background for the scale, but for all of the uh, things inside of it, you would have to use the offset rather than the scale. So offset rather than scale if you're planning on making a bigger level. However, for the purposes of this tutorial series, we are doing just fine. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or dislike button. Corresponding to how you felt about this video. And I'll catch you guys later.